Hi there, my name is Sylvia Conifla and I'm the lead on the Black Donors Save Lives campaign. This campaign is aimed at creating awareness on the need for Black people to sign up as stem cell donors. This presentation will give you an overview of the Black Donors Save Lives campaign and how it was used to highlight and address racial disparities in access to stem cell donors. So I will be sharing my screen here. There we go. Awesome. So just to give you a background here, the majority of patients in need of stem cell transplant do not have a fully matched sibling donor. So in that case, the alternative donor source is an eight out of eight HLA matched unrelated donor. However, there is a marked racial disparity in access to unrelated donors and research done in 2014 shows that white patients of Northwest European ancestry have a 75% chance of finding an eight out of eight perfect unrelated match donor compared to a less than 20% chance for black patients of any given ancestry. And in Canada where I'm uh, based, black people make up less than 2% of the Canadian Blood Services stem cell registry but reflect 3.4% of the entire Canadian population. So with this in mind, we decided to address this racial disparity and raise awareness about the need of more Black people to register as stem cell donors. And we did this in collaboration with Black people from the community to create multimedia to help educate about stem cell donation. At the top left here, we have infographics that highlight the racial disparity that Black patients face in access to stem cell donors. And on the top right, we have why we swap stories of stem cell recipients from the Black community, sharing their stories from initial diagnosis to eventually finding a match. And in one of these cases, the match wasn't even an eight out of eight perfect match. Over here, we have TikToks and short videos of members of the Black community sharing um, on the need for more Black stem cell donors. Uh, we also have two original songs here by a Black artist from the Black community spreading the word about the need of more Black stem cell donors. We also have both video and picture testimonials of Black people talking about um, stem cell donation, saying how easy it is to become a stem cell donor, and overall creating awareness about this need. Lastly, we made podcast videos of this one right here is just of two members of the Black community talking about this need and what can be done to address this disparity and how we can help raise more awareness about the need of more Black stem cell donors. Lastly, there's a podcast video of um, uh, a family of family members of a stem cell recipient are talking about initial diagnosis to how they eventually found a match um, for their child. This multimedia that was created in collaboration with Black people were then evaluated through focus groups containing 39 participants from four provinces across Canada. Um, they were all between the ages of 17 to 35, 74% were African, 21% Caribbean, and 44% male. And overall, uh, we've got an improvement in knowledge test scores um, from 75% to 92%. And uh, we also got a lower ambivalence to donation after viewing the multimedia. So people were more willing um, um, to sign up uh, as uh, stem cell donors after viewing the multimedia resources. And qualitative analysis of the feedback from these focus groups, um, most people said um, they felt the multimedia helped to address barriers to donation for Black people. And we also identified some examples of how the multimedia decreased barriers to donation uh, for members of the Black community. And some of the barriers that were highlighted was a uh, lack of knowledge about stem cell donation within the Black community, and interestingly, a uh, mistrust of the healthcare system. system. And I would just read uh, one of the excerpts from the quotations we got from um, one of the participants from uh, the focus group. It says, seen in our Black community, how a lot of times in the medical field, how we're treated or disregarded um, in the case of something that we might view as more complicated, we, we may not be willing to even look at or consider doing um, stem cell donation. 
But after looking at this multimedia and seeing how simple the procedure is on our end and seeing how much it affects our own people, I think educating more Black people on the simple thing that we could do can help a lot of people just like us. I think that would help a lot. So after the evaluation, we compiled all these multimedia resources into a campaign in honor of Black History Month, and that was in February of 2021, as well as 2022 of this year. Uh, these multimedia resources were shared and reshared by student groups across the country, um, some of our partner community groups and national partners, um, for example, Black Physicians of Canada, the campaign was covered in over 10 print and broadcast media um, outlets and was pro, uh, profiled by major medical organizations like Canadian Board Services. Uh, in conclusion, uh, we developed an array of high quality multimedia to support recruitment of Black people as potential stem cell donors and help reduce barriers to donation. I believe our work is relevant to recruitment organizations worldwide who should develop recruitment approaches in collaboration with Black people to engage these communities as potential stem cell donors. Lastly, I'd like to acknowledge the co-authors, patient advocates, collaborators from the Black community, and um, my mentor and founder of Stem Cell Club Canada, um, Dr. Warren Fingert. And again, I'd like to thank you for your time and letting me speak on this. Thank you so much.